Okay, so we have had a number of people request a video teaching how to repair a suit or any kind of inflatable that has printing on it. Now this is our tiger suit, our, uh, full body tiger suit, and a customer had a problem where there was a small leak in the neck. Now. No matter how well you take care of your inflatable leaks, pinholes, that kind of thing, they're bound to happen. So we try to send a small patch of the same material or something that will work well with every item that we send out. The printed material is just a little bit different than your normal PVC vinyl material that you're going to try and work on because when there's printing the patch is not going to stick as well. So what you're going to want to do is actually remove some of the uh, some of the printing and then you can put the patch on. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now when I started the video the tiger suit was all blown up so that I could find the leak easily. You can use your fingers, you can use uh, your lips to feel anything, any air. It's just a really good way. We've also got a video on how to use soapy water in a spray bottle to find leaks. It works really well. I just happen to know where it is this time. But when you are fixing a leak, you generally do not want the item blown up because it can warp the piece when you're when you're done working on it. So I generally get as much air out as I can of the area that I'm going to be working on. As you can see we have a leak here and we will need to patch it. So I've already cut a small patch using the material provided and because it is printed, we're going to have to take some of the printing off so that the patch will stick. Now to do this, you're gonna to have to be really careful, but it's using really easily attainable materials. You're gonna to wanna to take a Q-tip and some pure acetone. You don't wanna use the stuff that's got gel in it, um, a lot of times it's listed as nail polish remover, but you want 100% acetone, otherwise it's gonna leave a sticky residue and it's not gonna work. So what you do is you take the Q-tip and you put just a little bit of acetone on, and I'm gonna swipe very gently right along the leak. And you'll see that the printing just comes off really easily. So you're only going to work where you're going to have that patch, otherwise you're going to have a white spot. So that's pretty simple. This is the same kind of thing that you're going to do with our advanced PVC patch kit because it has the same idea and it comes with the acetone required. It comes with the Q-tips that are required. Um, and it comes with the glue and patch material that you will need generally. So uh, it's, it's a very simple kit, but it works really well for this kind of issue. So then we're gonna make sure that it's at least the size, the patch is at least the size of the area that we've been working on. Now, if it's a little less, if the, the white area here is a little less than the patch, that's okay. Um, you can have it attached to the printed material. However, you really want to make sure that the area that needs repairing has enough space so that the patch will stick to the surrounding area. We're gonna take our glue, and usually it's the needle is either red or green that we provide. This is just what I happen to have. 
And then we're gonna very gently add a little bit of glue to the back of the patch. And just make sure that it's very, a very thin layer. Make sure it's all over, but make sure that it's a very thin layer because you don't want it squeezing out much once you put it on. There's the patch. Then we're just gonna come over here. And once you get it on, that's where it's gonna be because you don't want it sliding all over. But then you've got it, make sure that it's nice and tight. Like I said, there's some white underneath, but then there's a little bit of, of orange that I didn't get off and that's okay. But the important part was that the white was where the patch needed to go. Because otherwise, if you try and patch the printed area, it's just gonna peel right off. As soon as you're done inflating it, it's not gonna stay. So you just make sure to press that on really well and leave it for a little while to dry. Coming back to make sure that it's all down, there's no air bubbles or anything. Let it dry for a little while, and then you're gonna wanna gently inflate it and double check and make sure that it doesn't come up. There's not any uh, leaking past the patch. But that's pretty much it. It's just a standard patch. You just have to take some of the print off before you can put the glue on. I hope this helps.